This is what you would... Man, we <laughs> Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. Today we're playing two color decks, trying to find which one's the best. So we have Edric Extra Turns, Gitrog Dredge, Niv-Mizzet Curiosity, and Grenzo Doomsday. Begin. Oh, draw, learn how to comes. I'm gonna crack that immediately. Grab a tropical island. Ma. You see my tropical island? The other thing I will do, cast the Max Diamond. I will discard Nykthos, cast a Priest of Titania, and say go. Okay. A land pass all around over here. Draw card. Command Tower. Cast Lotus Petal. Pass my turn. Pass my commander. Good yeah. to go. I will pass. End of turn, we are going to fetch out the one that'll do me damage if I draw it. Plan Island, and we're going to cast a Talisman of Creativity. Pass. End step, I'm going to pay four life and cast Dismember on Edric. Full support. No response here. Draw card. Play a Luxury Suite. What a luxury it is that it comes in untapped. I'm going to sacrifice the Lotus Petal for a purple mana and cast an Azra Oddsmaker. And that'll be it for me. Pass turn. Cast a Sylvan Safekeeper. Cast a Collector Oof. Oof. Ooh. Oof. Pass two. End of turn, I will damp here. Tutor. Draw a line. Pass. How is the Gitrog monster not done anything on the first three turns? Let's go to my turn. Play a Prismatic Vista. We're gonna cast a Captain Lannery Storm. Go to combat, Nate for two. Treasure, I will pass the turn. Trying to tell someone that Captain Lannery Storm is a CEDH card, like in the highest tier of competitive commander, <laughs> it's what? so bizarre. In my upkeep, cast a Vampiric Tutor. I will Mental Misstep. It is Mental Misstep. Now you take two life instead of me, haha. -ha. Can I draw cards? I will go to the beginning of combat. Discard a land with Azra Oddsmaker. Go to attack Cameron for three damage. That's a damn shame, but I'm, I think I'm gonna take three damage. Right. I will draw two cards with Azra Oddsmaker. One. Listen, bud, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Second main phase, I will play one Swamp. I'm just gonna cast a Erecto Signet and then pass my turn. So, I will you pass you. End of your turn, I will abrupt decay. You oof. I don't know why Nate abrupt decayed the oof there. I don't remember. Did he have another artifact that he was gonna play after this? It seems kind of strange when both- He's the only one with no artifacts in right. play. Right. I'll sack this for two mana. I'll play a land for turn. Second land for turn from a get drug. Pass to it. Attack Dylan for two with Captain Lannery Storm. I'm gonna get another treasure. Cast a Linthorn Buccaneer. Untap. For all you guys know at this point, I'm playing an Ixalan sealed <laughs> Yeah, your deck <laughs> looks the worst right now. It really does. <laughs> Draw card. I will move to combat. I'm gonna discredit Inquisition of Kozilek to the Azra Oddsmaker. The best part about putting bad cards like Inquisition of Kozilek in your deck is you have a great easy target to discard to Azra Oddsmaker. I'll move to combat and come at Tyler with a 3-3. No blocks. Okay, take three, and then we'll draw two cards. One, mm -hmm. two. Play a swamp. Pass my turn. Play land for turn. Come at Tyler. Cast a Caustic Caterpillar. Cast a Null Rod. Negate the Null Rod. Upkeep, I will okay. sack the land more waste. Drop it. Drop it. Future Dim. In response, cast Submerge for free and return the Gitrog monster to your library. Yeah. On you can top. choose to put in your commands yeah, instead. Yeah, to. My turn? Uh, no. Come. Now it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am going to cast Tandem Lookout. How many cards are in your hand? I have three cards in my hand. It's going to soul bond with Glenhorn Buccaneer. You're playing the worst cards. These cards are all so <laughs> shitty and bad. <laughs> I'm gonna go to combat. Glinthorn Buccaneer at Tyler. Lannery Storm at Nate. Before blocks are even declared, I get another treasure. Oh, put Caustic Caterpillar in front of Glinthorn. No effects. Damage? Damage. Okay. Damage, okay. Anything else? Mm, no, pass turn. I'll cast Ad Nauseam in your end step. Oh. Yeah, I have, yeah, a, I have dispel. a dispel. Damn, Damn it. it. Untap. Go, go to my turn. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna discard this Skirk's Prospector to Azra Oddsmaker. I'm gonna come at Cameron with a 3-3. Again, unfortunate, but it's gonna come through. I will draw one and a second card. Shit. Cast a Soul Ring. How many cards are in everyone's hands? You got like none, two. you have four, you have, have two. two. Everyone's low on resources here. I will cast Grenzo for two mana though. Play Arid Mesa for turn. Pass turn. Stay, bro. The chief is here. That's you. Do not sack a card. I will play Guy's Cradle. Two green, colorless black. I'll use black to cast Call in the Week. I sacrifice a creature, add four to my mana pool. Four black. I'm gonna flash in a spell setter sprite. Target that. I get a Burrell trigger. Yep. Speller ability counter to spell, so I will draw a card. 
You still get your Boreal Druid though, right? And discard a card. Discarding it. It's not cast or mute. I just think I pass. Play a land. Don't forget you have a commander. Yeah, I know, but I want to be able to... I can't do everything I want to do. Dude, I think a 5-5 five, five flyer is pretty much oh, all right. you want to be doing on this that field with everyone so like having two or bad. three cards. All right, we're going to sack both treasures. We're going to cast niv -Mizzet. No, niv -Mizzet's pretty good here. I'm going to cast Mausoleum Secrets. Going to get Dark Patrol. niv -Mizzet resolves? Yep. All right, go to combat. Attack Dylan with a 2-4 and attack Nate with Captain Lannery Storm. So I'm going to get a treasure token. Before blocks, I'll activate Grenzo one time. I just smelt into my graveyard. I'll activate it a second time. Put a polluted delta in my graveyard. I will not block. Damage. So I get a card off of the, the, the damage, and I get one damage, Priest of Titania. I'm going to let that resolve. Sack the treasure for a blue and cast a copy artifact to copy soul ring. Pass turn. Trucker. The only reason why I played that copy artifact was because I've, I'm a bad magic player and I forgot that niv is instants and sorceries and not non-creature spells. I much rather would be bluffing counter magic right here oh. instead of only having two colorless mana available. Cast a Chromatic Sphere. Sacrifice it for a black mana and draw card. Go to combat. Discard a Lake of the Dead to Azra Oddsmaker, and I will come at Unate with a 3-3. And eventually I will draw two, one, two. Oh, no! The unfortunate part about playing Grenzo, because it's a cool deck, but the downside is you have to play with a whole bunch of bad cards. So even when you're drawing <laughs> cards off of Azra Oddsmaker, sometimes they're just nonsense. They're all bad. Play a Badlands. Activate Grenzo. Overmaster in my graveyard. Activate Grenzo. Mountain in my graveyard. Activate Grenzo. Kumux in my graveyard. That's it, pass my turn. Turn. Pass the Carpet of Flowers. Move to second main. Make three mana, do nothing with it. <laughs> pass the main. Nothing? I don't think, I, I'm not gonna cast a 2-2 while there's a niv on the battlefield. That's yeah. a pretty bad idea. <laughs> I'll crack this. I feel like I'm doing this wrong, but whatever. Four, and then cast Dark Ritual. Uh, five, six, seven. I draw a card. Deal one damage to Putrid Imp. Putrid Imp doesn't die because of threshold. It's, it's fat. Casket draw. Dylan, I'll attack you for two. Pass the turn. Yeah. I'm going to deal one damage to Putrid Imp. Play a land for turn. Go to combat. Dylan, I'm going to come at you with the 2-2. Two, two. Nate, I'm going to come at you with the 5-5. Five, five. Dylan, I think I'm going to come at you with a 2-4 as well. I get a treasure off of Lannery attacking. Yep, I'll take four. Before damage, I want to activate uh, Glinthorn Buccaneer. So I'll do it once. So I discard a card, discarding the land to draw a card and yeah. deal one damage to each opponent. I draw a card off of Tandem Lookout. You'll draw three from that. And then that's three damage off of niv Mizzet that I'll get to deal then as well. I did one damage to Putrid Imp already, so that'll be one damage, one damage, one damage. Second Clint Horn, discard a Treasonous Ogre. I draw one card off of this, so you all take a damage, and then one niv Mizzet trigger goes on the stack, and then Tandem Lookout goes on the stack, so I draw three cards, and so there's four damage from the visit that's going to come up then. Yeah, I'm going to have I have four damage to deal, so I'm going to deal one, two, three, four damage. So I'm going to go to my end step, and because I have eight cards in my hand, I'm going to go to my cleanup and discard a. It doesn't matter, right? Graftigger's Cage. I mean, that means that it could matter. Yeah, but I guess it could. Yeah. So Glint Horn's going to trigger. It's going to deal one damage to each opponent. Yep. Oh, and stifle, then, stifle. And then because of Tandem Lookout, that's gonna allow me to draw, which is gonna give me even more damage from the Mizzet here. And Tandem Lookout, since I dealt damage to everybody, I'm gonna get to draw another three. But since I still have to discard to my hand size now, I'm going to discard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. This is making my tiny brain hurt. You know what was so great about this was that this was my the, you know, the first time piloting the deck. Yeah. And I'm sitting there, like I know how the deck plays, yeah. and I'm just kind of realizing as I'm adding everything up, like, Oh my god. Pre-game effects? Any yeah, pre -game I effects? do. Oh. Oh. No, that's only if it's if you're not going oh, first. that's true. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else want to go first? <laughs> Playing for turn. <laughs> All right. We are going to play a Flooded Strand and get the turn out of here. Draw a card. Aired Mesa. Play a Mana Crypt and a Soul Ring. That's it, though. Pass my turn. Uh, I will play a Top Tinderland Harbor. Cast the Mana Crypt and play a Soul Ring. Wow. <laughs> wow. Good. 
Okay. Oof, 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 Do not oof, cast it. Are you kidding? Ah, <laughs> uh, nuts. End of turn, I'm going to fetch out Volcanic Island. Go to my turn, and I will pass the turn. I'll just take damage. Damage. Drucker. Sulfuric, Sulfuric Springs. What is it? Is it Gaia's Cradle? <laughs> <laughs> Crack Arid Mesa. Badlands. Cast Crenzo. Pass my turn. Oof, another crypt. This has been the best oof. This <laughs> 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 Play a Misty Reinforced, play a Treetop Scout. Pass turn. Does anybody want to get rid of my oof for me? <laughs> <laughs> I will attack you for two. Now my turn. Play a land, pass the turn. City of Brass. Did you roll for yeah, Mana Crypt? I apologize. No damage from the Mana Crypt. Cast a Grim Tutor. I will lose three life. I will get this card. My favorite part about Grenzo is your tutor options are always super easy. You just tutor for Doomsday. <laughs> Put it into my hand. I'll go to combat. Attack Grenzo at Cameron. That's it for me. I'm going to pass my turn after that. I'll keep Will from Mana Crypt. Taking three of her turn. Play a Scalding turn. Crack the Scalding turn. I'm gonna get a Breeding Pool untapped. Crack Misty Reinforce. Cast Edric. Me, you're still at 39. I'm gonna yeah. come at you for one damage. Edric trigger, draw. Pass you. And your turn. Going to get a Overgrown turn. Go to combat. Attack. Cam for two. So now I just draw a card. Cast. Diabolic Intent, Sacrificing Oof, Cast. I am going to Mana Drain that. So I'll get five yeah, mana. My turn? I'll go to my draw. So I will get five mana this turn. All right, we're going to cast Factor Fiction. You're the, these are the piles? I'm going to take all four lands. We are also going to cast Frantic Search. Draw to discard Arid Mesa, Exotic Orchard, Untap. Use the last floating mana and a red here to cast a Pyroclasm. Oh, yeah. Pass the turn. Okay, untap. Go for a crypt. No damage. Drop her. Cast Grenzo. I'm gonna tap the Soul Ring also and have him come in with two plus one plus one counters. Yeah. Okay. Pass. Oh, I didn't roll for mana crypt. No, I did. I'm taking three. Play Command Tower. Float four colorless. Cast Edric. With my one colorless floating plus one blue, I'll cast Baral. Pass turn. Owls of the Deep Shadow. Cast Mana Roll. Squandered. Pass. Yeah. All right, end of the turn, I'm going to cast Anticipate. I'm going to put this in my hand. Put these two on the bottom. Go to my turn. Play Misty. Cast a Preordain. Go top, bottom. Draw a card. Cast a Sleight of Hand. Pass turn. Oh, that's a two damage. I take damage. Draw card. I'll cast a Zealous Conscripts. I will take your elf there. We'll go to combat. I will attack Nate for a four, five, six, seven. Eight damage. Draw three cards off of Edric. Got the land I needed. Cast a Toxic Deluge. X is two. I will pay two more life for that. I will pay one blue and cast a Delay targeting Toxic Deluge. Okay. I get a Burrell trigger three from counters. Delay. Yep. Draw this card exploration. I will also cast a Jeweled Amulet. You go to my end step. You get this back. Pass my turn. All right. Untap. Roll for Mana Crypt. Finally, no damage. Before draw, I'm gonna pay one blue and cast the Mystical Tutor. I'm gonna reveal Temporal Mastery. Move to draw, reveal this, and what a miracle. pay one blue to cast it for its miracle cost reduced by one, thanks to Baral. That's powerful. In response, cast a Brainstorm. Draw three, put back one, two. We shuffle up, I'm getting me a Steam Vents here. Cast Narset's Reversal, targeting Temporal Mastery. Sure. I'm gonna move to combat. Cam. Yes. I'm gonna attack you. This all makes sense. For three. <laughs> Two triggers off of Vedric. Draw. Draw. Cast Temporal Mastery. I'm going to cast Force of Negation, targeting Temporal Mastery. Exiling Snapback. Pass turn. All right. Here's my turn. Come Wait. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> Play land, we're going to cast a Ponder here. Shuffle and draw a card off of Ponder. Pass turn. So this goes to Nate's turn now. So now we're going to Nate. And then it will go back to me. You just made this really weird. Play Wild Mongol, Casket Rock. Peter Rock on the stack, do you have anything? Yeah, I do. I am going to cast a counter spell on it. Yeah, pass. All right, go to my next turn. Here comes my next turn. Pass. <laughs> Odds I take damage. You passed with six up? One, yes. two, three. This is perplexing. Yeah. I only have two red. Draw card. Play mana confluence. Cast a defense grid. So I'm gonna negate that. I figured you might go. <laughs> I want oh you to have that. Yes, people, let's eat this guy's hand. He's drawn so many cards. I will cast Doomsday. I will activate Grenzo. Is that okay? Yeah. I'll put a Kiki Jiki into play. I will activate Kiki Jiki. 
making a token copy of Zell's conscripts. Before that was all, past submerged to return. Red elements of West. <laughs> Didn't even see Mental the misstep. Damn it! What was the submerged target? Uh, it was gonna be Kiki Jiki. Okay, so Kiki Jiki on top of library. Yeah. Okay, Kiki Jiki goes on top. Then your Kiki Jiki activation resolves, so you now get a copy of Zealous Conscripts. Get a copy of Zealous Conscripts entering the battlefield. Whoa. Gain control of. I messed up. So. In my head, I honestly, once you're, all right, so <laughs> I have an excuse. You might be thinking to yourself, Dylan, why didn't you take the squandered resources? Because then you can sacrifice your lands and make a bunch of mana and you just cast a doomsday and you have Grenzo and then that's how you win the game, right? So here's what happens when you dig your brain into 700 pathways for doomsday on what your opponents could possibly do. You lose sight of the obvious, or at least I do. I completely forgot that Zealous Conscripts takes a permanent. That's what makes it so good. Any permanent. You take a land. Not a creature. So in my head, I'm like, shit, what creature do I take? It doesn't really matter. I'll just take this creature, whatever. If I take the squandered resources, I can sacrifice my lands for enough mana to activate Grenzo enough time to complete the backup pile, which I put in. I had the Murderous Red Cat, Skirk Prospector, Metallic Mimic combo in the other part of my pile. So I, I could have just, one here, but I didn't. I didn't realize that I could have taken the squandered resources. I will move to combat. Okay. I, I'm going to come at Tyler. I'm going to attack you with these. Things. All right. So I take eight. Go yeah. to nineteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will um, tap this for a black mana to add, a, put a counter on Jeweled Amulet, and I will end my turn. Roll for mana crypt. Take no damage. I also forgot to shuffle my graveyard into my Doomsday deck. What am I doing? What am I even doing? Oh, these should have been shuffled exiled with my library too. Cast Karn's Temporal Sundering, still floating one colorless. Targets, I am target player, Grenzo is target permanent. Yep. Come at Dylan, I'm gonna swing three at you. Also, why is that Zealous Conscript's token still there? That's a token that goes You're right having a hell turn. of a time over here. I really just you got like three cards in your library. You know when you spiral <laughs> and you just like you make one mistake and then it's just like downhill, downhill. Everything downhill. else is just done. I guess that's what happened at this point. I don't know. If you notice the length of this entire video, it's like over a half hour long probably. Each one of these games is like an hour and a half. Oh, this yeah. is what happens when you don't have access to Fish Hook. The games take forever when your win conditions suck. You're playing casual at this point. Don't ban Flash. Please let me win quickly. Magic <laughs> triggers draw two. Then for turn, oh. I'm gonna play a Gaius Cradle, cast the Mausoleum Wanderer, float three green, cast Collector Roof, move two extra turn. Roll for that crypt of yours. Oh yeah, no damage. Land for turn reflecting pool. Cast a phantasmal image. Enter the battlefield as a copy of Zealous Conscripts. So my play to keep me alive doesn't work anymore then. So I'm I'm crossed with a moral qualm. I have a, a, a slaughter pact. That's what I'm thinking about. What do you do if you're me in this situation? You're gonna die either way, but you have a slaughter pact that you can cast for free. Do you kill something on the way out or no? Because it doesn't help you win the game. Yep, yeah, you, you got it. All right, so I get a copy of Zealous Conscripts. Yep. And then the ETB effect, I'll steal squandered resources. Move to combat. Okay. Dylan, I'm gonna attack you with all of my creatures. I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna die. Slaughter Pact, in any of these creatures doesn't stop me from losing the game right now. Even though I can do it, it doesn't in increase my chances of winning the game, so I won't. I draw one, two, three, four, five cards. Cast Capture of Jinj. Himself. I'm gonna red elemental. Class. Last card in your hand. Dispel your red elemental. Well, there, okay, there we go. <laughs> Barrel trigger. Draw a card, discard a card. With my three floating green, I will cast a druid's repository. Much better than a druid's suppository. Move to end step, end of turn, you get this back. Move to extra turn. Roll for mana crypt. Take three. Draw for turn. I'm gonna play a good little island and cast a Siren Storm Tumor. I'm gonna move to combat, and Nate, I will attack you for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, attack triggers, thank you. I will draw oh, five cards in response to the draw triggers. These Edric triggers still on the stack. I'm gonna oh, remove fine. one and cast Crop Rotation, sacking the island. Resolve my five triggers, cool. seven green. Cast a Carpet of Flowers. <laughs> you would not believe how many lands I just drew. Cast a Night Veil Sprite. Cast a Wing Crafter. I will soap on the wing crafter with Baral. And I'm gonna pass turn. Untap. I'll lose a life. Four, draw. I will discard Dakmore. And I will dredge Dakmore. That's kind of a pointless play, but whatever. I'm going to Praetor's Grasp. Targeting Tyler. Sacrifice Siren Storm Tamer to counter that spell. I will get a Baral trigger and draw a discard. I will attack you for four. I'll take four. Draw two. Wild Growth. Pass. Cast Captain Lannery Storm. Go to combat, attack, Nate. 
get a treasure. X equals two, rolling earthquake. I'm gonna pay one and cast Flusterstorm. I'll get one burr, I'll trigger. Well, pass the turn. It's my turn, so just gonna change it into Smiley Face and then. <laughs> Roll for Mana Crypt. Taking three, throw for turn. Let's move to combat. I'm gonna swing 12 at Nate. Trigger on the stack from Nightville Sprite. I will put that in the graveyard and I will draw eight cards. Seven. Um, in response to my eighth edger trigger, I'm gonna pay one green using one of the druid's repository mana here. And I will cast a Noxious Revive. Targeting capture of Ying Shao. Then go ahead and resolve that last Edric trigger, draw that. Second main, Carpet of Flowers for six. I will use four of it to cast Capture of Jing Shao. I'm probably saying that wrong. I will use the other two blue to cast a Triton Shore Stalker and a Fairy Seer. I'm gonna put them back in this order. So I'm gonna float 10 green. Okay, my adversary. Move to combat. Nate, I'm gonna come at you with these three creatures just to feel a little bit sure. And Cam, I'm gonna swing at you with the remainder of my creatures. So I have a Night Veil Sprite trigger on the stack, and I also have a lot of mana in Druid's repository now. 11 added to Druid's repository. Mm -hmm. Veil Sprite trigger. Yep, leave that on top. Go to damage. 13. I will draw 13. 14. This one. Oh, you're that right. one. <laughs> okay. Oh well, Cam. I feel like I got this. Do you have an extra turn spell? I have several extra turn spells. Alright. Show them to me and I'm scooping. Next to fate, yeah. one more attack. Any pregame effects? Yes. Yes. I actually have. Oh! What are you gonna exile to it? Oh shit. I'll exile. That was the deep chest. How are you supposed to remember all of the magic cards and everything that they do? There's thousands of them. I'm gonna draw a card. Play Nerborg. Cast a Chrome Mox. Pitch a Zealous Conscripts. Cast a Lotus Petal. I will sacrifice for a black, a red, and a black. Cast an Azra Oddsmaker. Pretty good on turn one. I guess, but I just kind of emptied my hand for uh, three, three. Faster. I will play a Mana Confluence, cast a Lana Royals, and say go. Play land for turn. Jorga. Jorga Tree Speaker. Yes, that is the <laughs> card I am playing. Crack this. I'm just gonna go get a Overgrown Tune tap to pass. We're gonna play an island. We too are going to be on the fast mana play Ooh. with the soul ring into a spell skite here. Pass the turn. Draw card. I will go to combat. Discard a spring leaf drum to the Azra odds maker. Come at you, get rog monster. I'll draw two with odds maker. One, two. Sulfurous spring. Cast Grenzo. Past a chromatic sphere, and then I will pass my turn. Sure. Tropical island. I will cast the mana crypt. I'm gonna. Pay to cast my commander. Edric, move to combat. I'm gonna swing at you with a 1-1. One, one. Taking one, I draw a card, and I will pass turn. Elvish Mystic. Land for turn. Pass him. Wait, you can only do that sorcery speed if you wanna do that. Are you trying to do that? Oh yeah, sorry, I will. Level up. Yeah, I'll still pass. Play a land, pass. Draw a card. Go to combat. I will discard a swamp to Azra Oddsmaker. I will send the Azra Oddsmaker at you. Draw one. And a second yeah. card. Did I just forget how Edric works? But nobody else reminded me either. Let me just point that out. We're all well, paying attention to the rules. I will sacrifice this Chromatic Sphere for black mana and draw card. With the black and the Urborg and this Chromax, I will cast Preacher's Grasp, targeting Get Rug Monster. So I will find this card, put it face down. That's it, that's all I got. I will pass my turn. I realized I made a mistake. I did not take one life for mana confluence last turn. Okay, take it. I apologize. Okay. Sorry. Taking three damage. Draw for turn. That is a miracle. I will attempt to cast this spell for its miracle cost. No. Mana drain. Oh! <laughs> That's Hi, a you are casting the best mana drain. <laughs> I will respond using the floating colorless plus one blue. Cast unified will targeting mana drain. Force a will. Exiling ponder. And then mana drain resolves. Yes. So I will get seven mana on my next turn. Let's move right to combat. Nate, I am going to attack you with a two two. Draw. Cast an Elvish Mystic. Cast you. Naming Frog. Uncounterable Frog. Life from my loan. Turn to my hand. Land for turn. Second land for turn. Crack this now. Dredge. Buy you. I'll pass. Alrighty. We're going to cast a Preordain here. Put these on the bottom and then draw a card. Yeah. Play a land for turn. Thank God mana burn isn't a thing, right? <laughs> Pass the turn. No, I've got nothing to do with it. Go to my turn. Upkeep. I will cast the card that I got with Praetor's Grasp, and then Paratutor. That was a good one. Find this mystery card. Put it on top of my library, and draw for turn. Go to combat. I will discard a murderous red cap to the Azra Oddsmaker. I'm gonna send both of these guys at you, Tyler. I will block the Oddsmaker with Elvish Mystic. I'll take two. 
Cast a Skirk Prospector. Pass move from Mana Crypt. Take three. Move to combat. Dylan, I'm going to attack you with both of these creatures. Well, not block. Take three. Get two other triggers. One, two. Second main. Cast a Finwood Elves. Cast a Slither Blade. Pass turn. To Oki, I will sacrifice by you. Draw a card. Draw for turn. I will go to combat at you. All of them at me. Yeah. Well, I'm going to block the Draga Tree Speaker. Draw two. Cast Light from the Loam. Turn. This. Play. One land for turn. I'll crack it. Draw. Second land for turn. Dark Confidant. Lotus Petal. Sylvan Safekeeper. Pass. End of turn, Tudor. I'm going to get a dig through time. My turn. Pass the turn. Draw card. Cast a Mox Amber. Cast Doomsday. Cast a Force of Will. Exiling a Mystic Memorial, losing one life. I'm going to sacrifice this for a red mana. Cast a red elemental blast. Counter Force Will. Doomsday back on the stack. Cast Delay. Delay resolves countering Doomsday. Okay. I'll go to combat. I still have the color of this floating. I want to use that. Blue, blue, and then exile five, and then cast the dig. Looking at the top seven. This. That's it for me. So I'll go to combat. I am going to discard a Simeon Spirit Guide to Azra Oddsmaker. I'll send just Azra Oddsmaker at you. Draw two with Oddsmaker. One, two. Why am I forgetting about Edric again? What's going on? Wooded Foothills. Pass turn. Mana Crypt. Take three. Draw. Oh, I drew an extra card because there it is. There you go, idiot. Of Edric, I was supposed to draw an extra card with this, right? Sorry. Yes. Move to combat. Cam, okay, I'm gonna swing all of these at you. I encourage you to let me hit you with everything so that we have more opportunities to find interaction, but that will have to be up to you. I'm gonna block Edric and take three. Is what I want to do. I draw three. <laughs> Len for turn Gaia's Cradle. I'm gonna cast a Mox Diamond. Must discard. I'll discard Dryad Arbor. Cast Collector Oof. Float a red in response. Upkeep reveal for Bab. Taking one. I will sacrifice the swamp. Drawing off. Good draw. Get the stupid dick And then draw for turn. Go to combat. Attack. Yeah. I'm going to put this in front of Bob. Take six, seven, eight, nine. I will draw four. Putrid Imp. Ooh. Mana Drain, Putrid Imp. Veil of Summer. I draw a card. Imp resolves. And tomb. Dakmar, Graveyard. Sack. A. Bayou. Dredge, two. Draw trigger goes on stack. Stack trigger. Cast Dark Ritual. Loot through my deck with. Stack more salvage, Pooja Doom, and a frog. Get Dark Ritual, cast Dark Ritual infinite amount of times, and then cast Crater's Graph infinite amount of times. So, kind of bummed out that I made a couple of little tiny mistakes there. Grenzo is one of my favorite decks in CEDH. Although it's not particularly great, I think what he does is super cool and unique. Niv Mizzet is exactly what I want to be doing in CEDH. Preventing people from being able to win before I can win. I think Gitrug Monster is also obviously very good as well. Gitrug didn't really get to show off a lot of his interactive pieces during these games. Yeah. I don't feel like Edric is a very popular deck in the format. So, next week you might think there's a one color video coming out because you maybe have noticed a pattern there's not next week we're doing a uh, 1k q a if you notice we have a new logo uh, a reddit user and slover helped us out making one i think it's really cool me too so yeah that's gonna be the new logo that we're going with let us know how you like it down below it's awesome that's how that's, that's how, how you, you like fucking it. like it that's like how you it. prop chairs is a prop, prop chairs. table None is, nothing in this room exists no it's oh, a yeah, green it's screen a I decided to put it in my room. <laughs> if you drop the green screen, it, this is what my room would it look like. It reveals just... <laughs> I just I just digitally add in my room on a green screen. It's a more, you know, studio appeal. Yeah, it gives it a more cinematic. Exactly. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.